The United States military discovered horrifying abuse at an Afghan hospital funded with millions of U.S. taxpayer dollars. Now members of Congress here in Washington are hearing directly from the witnesses about this huge scandal. We want to warn you about some of the pictures you might be seeing. They will be disturbing. Our Pentagon correspondent Barbara Starr has this report. U.S. taxpayers spent more than $150 million in just 18 months here at the Kabul National Military Hospital, training Afghans to look after their wounded. Here is what that money bought. If there are children watching, please have them turn away or ask to leave the room. Wounded, starving Afghan patients. They are exceptionally graphic. Testifying before Congress, retired and still serving U.S. officers who say... American generals knew, but didn't want the bad news to get out. Congressman Jason Chaffetz quoted from testimony. Colonel Carroza described the conditions as, quote, Auschwitz-like, end quote. Oftentimes, Afghan doctors and nurses would demand bribes in exchange for care. Those who could not afford to, uh, uh, afford to do so died in their hospital beds. Surgeries with no painkillers and more. The open vats of blood draining out of soldiers' wounds, uh, the feces on the floor. And for those tens of millions of dollars spent? Medical supplies and equipment were hoarded, stored improperly, and misused. Retired Colonel Schuyler Geller told us weeks ago his staff saw unending corruption. He's now testified publicly. We supply 100% of the fuel and food to the Afghan army, including the Daoud Khan Hospital where it was routinely pilfered, enriching the criminal patronage networks. The men alleged their boss, Lieutenant General William Caldwell, delayed an investigation, worried it would look bad politically. His first response to me uh, was, how could we do this or make this request uh, with elections coming? And then he made the really, uh, again, uh, shocking comment that he calls me Bill. What, what does that mean? Well, I, I took it as that uh, he was referring to the President of the United States. And that he had a personal relationship. I, I, I don't know, uh, Chairman, if he had a personal relationship, but uh, the political pressure there um, was such that he made those statements. You see Colonel Fassel there in a U.S. Army uniform. This is a colonel in the Army saying that a three-star general used the president's name to get out of having an immediate investigation of the situation at this hospital. General Caldwell has not publicly commented on this. Through his spokesman, he is saying he believes the allegations are false. Wolf? It's a real scandal that's brewing. Uh, thanks very much, Barbara, for that. Uh,